All right, my beautiful friends, welcome back for part two of the Bob's Burgers restaurant diorama. And here it is, all finished. This went completely different than I thought it was gonna go. It turned out interesting, <laughs> I have to say. Um, the, the black wash really kind of dulled the color. Um, so I wasn't happy with that, but it, 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 it looks different kind of like one of those cartoons where they use a different drawing style. So it'd be the same cartoon, but they use a different drawing style, kind of a more realistic, more dirty, dark sort of style. And that's kind of what I'm getting from here. So, so this is the end product. Uh, it was an interesting, it was an interesting second half. It was challenging. There was a lot of things that were really challenging to be honest. So uh, I hope you like it. Why don't we go to the video? I'll show you how I built the rest of it. Okay, to start off with the second part, what I did was I took some foam and I cut some basic benches out of that foam uh, to represent, obviously, the benches and the tables that are on the side of the restaurant. And it was quite surprising because there was a lot of work that had to go into the inside of the restaurant, and I bet you I didn't even get half of all the little things that were in the pictures that I that I've seen in the restaurant. But I wanted to get enough to make it look like you know what you're looking at. You know that it's the inside of the restaurant. So anyway, I cut up a bunch of these benches, uh, a couple of double benches there as you can see. And then moving on, what I did was I made the tables. And these tables were basically very simple, just a, a flat surface and a leg in the center just like that. I knew most of the details would be hidden so I didn't really worry about having them to be very very intricate. So then after the tables um, I just used some more of that foam and I made a, a stand and used push pins for the seats along the bench along the countertop so that was actually a pretty easy thing to to get done and then moving on to the bench here or pardon me the counter countertop and this again foam thin cut sliced it up glued it together pretty basic looking countertop there you can see it there and uh, I needed to do a little bit of uh, detail work on this one here so did the, the wainscoting on the side just a pencil and just scribed in some lines uh, it was pretty effective, you know, there was, it was pretty easy, pretty effective. And again, you can see the detail, but you're not going to see a whole bunch of it. At least at this point in time, that's what I was thinking. That you wouldn't see a bunch, but you'd still see a lot. But anyway, here we go. I made an ice cream machine, a coffee machine, and a bus pan. So I was going to put that on the, on the ledge there, right behind the countertop. So after I got all that stuff done, I went to work painting. Just did some basic colors again, following closely to the pictures of the inside of the restaurant and just painted these up. Um, like I said, basic and again, no real de detail, just simple, simple colors and not a lot of detail. So there's the red bench, the red seats. You can see the countertop is painted, all the tables are painted, and uh, they turned out pretty good. I was actually quite impressed with the coffee machine and the, <laughs> the ice cream machine. They, they look pretty good. They look pretty good on the, on the ledge too. So here's where things kind of started going a little bit off the rails. Actually, it might be just a little bit further down the road here. So I started painting the inside of the restaurant. That This part actually went, went not too bad. And it's this part here that I was really disappointed because the glass that I had used for the front windows, I didn't realize how fogged they were. Like I knew they were fogged, I didn't realize how far they were so you really can't see in the front of the window so I made sure and kept this shot 
so you can kind of see the detail of what went on inside the restaurant it uh i have put a light in there as well but unfortunately you can't see very much through the window so that's what the inside looked like and here we are just putting the pillars for the uh for the mort's crematorium there for his his business just some glue sticks that i cut up and painted is all i all i use for that and then just some basic gray paint for the road out in the front and a lighter shade of gray for the sidewalk and i tried to keep the the painting in that direction so it would kind of look like sidewalk then a little bit of detail paint work on the front of the house or of the businesses here and this here really made the whole thing pop you know on this side it was a very very light gray with a little bit of blue mixed in so it it made everything look you know uh, just a little a little more detailed a little more exciting um, when you put this trim detail on so I was, I was happy with this it turned out really well it really gave a lot of depth to the project so this was good the the area where things went a little bit rough again was when i did a black wash and that black wash did not it really killed the color um, as you can see here coming up um, I, I redid the video just without any effects so you can see that it did go quite dark still not bad I'm still happy with this project it it looks kind of cool um, really wanted the colors to be to be a lot brighter than they were but uh, hey that's how it goes sometimes but anyway there's the final project you can see it looks a little little darker than it did at the beginning a lot of paint work there's a sign there that I put on for the uh, the vacant business and you can kind of see the inside of the restaurant there with the light that uh, I put in there. So anyway, guys, this is the final product. I hope you enjoy it. Going to be working on some interesting things coming up in the next few videos. So please, I encourage you to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys again.